Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to connect Bluetooth headphones or speakers to a computer or smartphone. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Every day, Bluetooth devices such as hands-free sets, headphones and portable speakers are becoming more and more popular. The main reason behind this popularity is that you can forget about all those wires and move around your house or flat while speaking on the phone, instead of having to stay close to your gadget. So, if you face any difficulties in connecting a Bluetooth device like that, this video must come in handy. In a few seconds, you will learn how to connect Bluetooth speakers or headphones to a desktop computer, laptop or smartphone, what problems you may encounter, and how can they be solved. So, Let's begin with connecting things to your smartphone. After all, phones were the first gadgets to receive Bluetooth support. While earlier versions only supported mono signal and the only way you could use the new feature was for everyday conversations on the phone, present-day models turn your hands-free set into fully functional headphones good enough to enjoy your favorite music. So these days, all modern gadgets support Bluetooth by default. To start using headphones, you should get the two devices connected or paired. On your phone or tablet PC, go to Settings, find Bluetooth and turn it on. Switch the headphones into the search mode by pressing and holding the power button until the light begins flashing. Open the Bluetooth menu on your phone and start searching for available devices. Tap on the headphone's name and wait until the two devices get connected. Enter a pairing code if the system requires it. This code is usually given in the headphones manual and the default value could be four zeros. This sequence is the same for all operating systems. Now you can turn Bluetooth off to save the battery charge. Next time you turn Bluetooth on, the phone will recognize the headphones automatically and have them connected. Now let's find out how to connect Bluetooth headphones to a desktop computer or laptop. Pairing wireless headphones with a laptop is the easiest task, as all laptops have a built-in Bluetooth model. In case of a desktop PC, you will need a special Bluetooth adapter. So, if you use a laptop, just turn the Bluetooth model on. If you deal with a desktop PC, plug the adapter into one of its USB ports and check if it's ready to use. Start Device Manager by right-clicking on the Start menu and clicking on the corresponding line. The device manager should display corresponding elements properly. If it shows you a line like Bluetooth peripheral device, download and install a special driver for your laptop from the manufacturer's website. When you connect a Bluetooth adapter to the computer, proper drivers will be installed automatically. Switch the headphones into the search mode by pressing and holding the power button for 10 to 15 seconds until the light begins flashing. In the system tray on your computer, find the Bluetooth icon, right-click on it and select Add a Bluetooth device. Windows will run a scan for all available devices of this type. Click on the name of your hands it set and confirm pairing. After that, try listening to an audio file. You should hear the music in your headphones. Next time, all you need for listening to music in the headphones will be to turn them on. You have to go through the previous steps for pairing the set with a desktop computer or laptop only when you connect it for the first time. Sometimes the operating system may ask you for a pairing code when you connect the headphones. If such code is not given in the user manual for your hands reset, the default value should be four zeros. And finally, let's find out how to connect wireless Bluetooth speakers. Basically, it's the same procedure as for the headphones. If it's a laptop, turn the Bluetooth model on. If it's a desktop PC, well, plug the Bluetooth adapter in. 
Go to the Start menu and click on Settings. Choose Devices and click on Add Bluetooth or Other Device. Now turn the speaker on and switch it to pairing mode. And here is an important thing. The Bluetooth indicator on the speaker should be blinking frequently. Such blinking means that other Bluetooth devices can detect the speaker and get connected. Usually, all you need to do is to press and hold for some time the Bluetooth button with a corresponding symbol on it or the power button. After that, select Bluetooth on the computer. It starts searching for available devices. The speaker should appear on the list. Click on it to see a window saying that the wireless speaker is now connected. That is all. Click this button to finish things up. Now the sound will be broadcast to the Bluetooth speaker you have just paired to your computer. If you have another set of speakers for listening to music, just power the wireless speaker off for a while. Also, you can connect a portable speaker to a computer with a special cable, provided that the speaker has an audio in jack. To get the two devices connected, you will need a 3.5mm mini jack cable like that, with plugs on either end. Usually, such cable comes supplied with a speaker. Plug one end of the cable into the speaker and the other into an audio out jack on a laptop or desktop computer. This way, the sound will be played through the connected portable speaker until you disconnect it or change the default output device in Windows sound settings. Finally, let's see how you can connect Bluetooth speakers to a smartphone. There is nothing too complicated, as the procedure is very similar to connecting Bluetooth headphones. For starters, enable Bluetooth on those devices. With most portable speakers, you can turn on Bluetooth by pressing and holding the Bluetooth button for 8 or 10 seconds. It will make the light-emitting diode blink, which means the Bluetooth mode is now enabled. Usually, it is turned on only for 30 seconds. To turn on Bluetooth on a smartphone, open the Settings menu and select the corresponding option. Otherwise, you can find it by swiping down the phone screen. After that, use the smartphone to find available devices. Search for available devices. And keep in mind that you can enjoy good quality signal as long as the distance between the phone and the speaker is less than 8 or 10 meters. When the list of available Bluetooth devices is ready, select the speaker and you can find it actually by seeing its name. The identification process starts and when the phone detects the speaker, the phone will kind of remember it. Then, pairing process begins and you may need to give a special code. Generally, as I said before, the default value is four zeros, uh, but some Bluetooth speaker models may use a different set of digits. In that case, this information can be found in their user manual file. After that, the devices will be ready to work together. The phone will broadcast sound by Bluetooth when the speaker is turned on and they will pair automatically every time. The last thing to remember is that Bluetooth speakers and headphones cannot work with several devices at the same time. To pair them with another device, you need to open the smartphone or computer settings to disconnect the speaker or headphones from the device they are paired with now. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful for you. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions and share your opinion. Thank you for watching and good luck!